Hello, hello everybody. This is Mommy with Flowers by the Bunch. This afternoon, I am going to put together one of our bridesmaids bouquets for this weekend's wedding. So her colors are all purple. Um, and so we're gonna start out with a beautiful purple hydrangea. I'm gonna use this one purple hydrangea and then a white hydrangea as the base of my bouquet. So I'm gonna take those and gather them in my hands. And I just broke that one. I just gather it in my hand just like this. I almost wonder, I'm gonna grab one of my hydrangea because I'm afraid that purple is really big. So um, I'm going to grab one more hydrangea. So we're gonna use two whites and one purple. Let's see. So that's gonna be the base of our bouquet. Um, and that's really a lot of purple, I realize, but that's the color that our bride loves. And so, this is going to be the base. Next, I'm gonna come in. This is called purple stock. I'm just taking and stripping those, um, those leaves off. I'm gonna nestle that stock right down into this hydrangea. So just strip those stems, or those leaves off. And I'm just taking that stem and I'm just working it right down into that hydrangea. I don't know about this white hydrangea, we might not like it. Okay, next I'm gonna come in with some purple lisianthus. Now lisianthus, I just love it. Um, I love it because I really like that it has lots of movement in the flower. So I'm just taking that and, and sliding that right down into that hydrangea. Now I realize it's hard for you to see it because it really falls on the same color level as the hydrangea. Um, but that purple was really her color. And so we're gonna see if it will work for us. And I'm just taking and just nestling those right down into the bouquet. And I'm just taking that stem and just kind of working it right down into that hydrangea. And so it holds it in place pretty well. Next, I'm gonna come in with these purple mums. So this is a cushion mum. Cushion mums are um, in the daisy family. So when you think of a daisy, you think of um, a center, like a yellow center with, pet, with a few petals. Well, this is a cushion. So a cushion mom has more petals on it. I'm just gonna kind of nestle that mom right into that hydrangea. So I've just kind of put it in there, tuck it, tucked it in. This one has a broken head, so I'm just gonna snip it right off, snip that stem. Remove any of the leaves. Now, I like that this mom has a different shade of purple than my other purple flowers because it really causes it to show up better, right? So, I just kind of nestled those in. Next, I'm going to come in with this pretty Veronica. Um, Veronica, actually, you can grow this here in Mississippi. Um, it doesn't grow this long and pretty, but it does grow really nice in, in your flower pots here in Mississippi. And so, it's just a fun, pretty flower. I like that it's just so interesting. So, I'm just taking it. I'm going to strip any foliage that might fall below where I catch them. So, I'm just nestling that right down into that hydrangea. I really like that it's just a different shape. I think that's nice in this arrangement. Okay, 
So there's my Veronica tucked in. Next, I'm going to come in with these white ranunculus. They are such lovely flowers. And so I think they're going to give us a little pop of white, which is going to lighten up all of this purple. So all I'm doing is just kind of working that right down into that hydrangea. And just kind of move him a little bit to get him to look the way you want him. Take another. him right down in there. Now the only thing about that white is I don't want it to, you don't want to put two in there. You want at least three because it's going to look like eyes. So we want to have at least three blooms so it doesn't look as if they're just little eyes looking back at you. So I tucked three. I have a couple of little roses so I'll tuck a couple of those in. So you can see all it is is I'm just nestling all those flowers in. I'm sorry my nose is itching. I'm just nestling those flowers right into that hydrangea. And if things need to move um, a little deeper, you can just take that stem and pull it down just a little bit. If you need to pull it out just a smidge, just carefully adjust it as need be. All right, so the last flowers, and I just threw one on the floor, is this purple scabiosa. Um, I want to say they called it a raspberry scabiosa. To me, it looks really like eggplant color. It's a deep, 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 deep color. So I'm going to tuck a couple of those in there. Now the difference with this, um, with this deep purple is it's really, I'm hoping when I hold it back, it's not going to, if I use just two, I don't want it to look like eyes, like I said. It's always important when you look at your flowers that it's not going to be a bug looking back at you. And I'm thinking it's going to need three because I certainly don't want little dark eyes looking at you, right? So I'm going to take one more stem, tuck it in right over here. And just tuck it right down into that white hydrangea. All right, so there's my flowers. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of greenery. And I am just going to come all the way around. Now, my bride didn't want very much greenery, so I'm just going to tuck just a smidge, a little bit. I don't want it to look too round and too perfect, so that's why I'm going to use a little bit of greenery. So I'm just kind of coming around just to kind of finish it off with just a little bit of greenery. This is called Gun Eye Uke, which I like, or Gunny Uke. <laughs> that might be the southern term for it. All right, let's see, one more. All right, so there we go. There's our bouquet. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to move my greenery out of my way. I'm gonna take some, this is waterproof tape, and I'm going to tape this, these stems together. So I'm just taking that tape. Now there's lots of ways that you can tie off a bouquet. For me, this is what I find is the easiest, okay? So I'm just taking that tape, I've got one little stem sticking out over here, and I'm just coming around these stems. I'm going to go around several more times just for, just to make sure it stays together. Okay. 
And this is how I finish the bouquet off. Of course, I'm gonna take it in there and use my, my flower cutter and I'm gonna cut these stems, okay? I'm gonna cut them pretty short and then drop them in water. But let me show you how I wrap the stems of the flowers. This is just regular satin ribbon, florist satin ribbon. I'm just gonna take about 12 inches or so. I am going to lay it right over that tape and wrap those stems as tight as you can get this ribbon. You're gonna wrap your stems. And then I'm gonna fold that edge over just to give us a pretty clean edge. And then I'm gonna take two, these are just florist pins, like corsage pins, and I'm just going to pin that ribbon into place. I always push the, um, the point of the pin up towards the flowers so that just in case it's sticking out, it's not going to, it's not gonna stick anybody, okay? And there you have it. There is our wrap stem. I'll chop all these flowers off, but there's our bouquet. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me this afternoon. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe down below. Hit that little bell if you want notifications. And if you like seeing different videos like this, catch us over on Facebook. Um, we do videos every afternoon. Guys, y'all have a great day and we'll see you real soon.